is it recording? I don't know. It's a moving thumb. I guess it's recording. There's a thing down there. Yeah. Okay. Let's assume this is recording. Um, I just got a new Logitech web camera and I'm testing it out. That's what I'm doing. I initially wanted to stream this thing, but um, that takes a little bit of work getting set up and I have to do some more research on that. But for this one here, we're just going to see how well this camera performs. Um, so far, so good. It looks pretty clear. I mean, oh, what is this? All right. There's an autofocus there, which is pretty awesome. See my wrinkly, veiny brown hands. But um, what am I going to do for this? I'm going to do a um, an inking. I don't know how many of you guys are participating in this Inktober thing, um, but uh, I'm doing it. And it's been pretty good so far. Uh, it's getting me to draw a lot more, which is awesome. Um, on paper, which is even better. So um, the digital stuff I've kind of um, put aside for a bit, you know, at least for this month anyway, because I wanted to dedicate um, the hour or so that I had every day for drawing to do the Inktober thing. And so far, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily post any of this stuff because um, I don't I don't feel it's really all that great. But you know, given the circumstances, I think um, you know it being a challenge and the, the time restraint uh, kind of restrictions put on them. Uh, not so bad. I've been posting them. Not entirely happy with it, but I am happy um, for the experience overall. This thing is kind of cool. I mean, it's a bit slow at focusing, but um, what's in front of me is this character design quarterly kind of sketchbook thing that was kind of um, it was a part of a Kickstarter. It was a freebie uh, for um, supporting um, a Kickstarter and this came with it uh, as well as a few other things <clears throat> sorry about the voice I'm kind of sick these postcards here which I don't know what they do I guess it's supposed to be um, I didn't even read them actually <laughs> maybe I should but um, how I've been using these is uh, I've been coloring a lot with marker and the paper isn't all that thick so what I do is I put it underneath it so it doesn't bleed through to the next page so everything has its purpose, right? So this is what I have uh, have, have been doing. I don't know. A lot of you guys um, that are doing this, I realize how hard it is to actually do an ink drawing a day. But I've been doing it, and um, I've been posting them. So that was day one, two, three. If you guys follow me on Instagram or whatever like that, you've probably seen these. I joined a Facebook page as well for this. Um, yeah, just a bunch of these, and you know they range from half an hour to the longest one was probably two hours, which was this one here. Um, it's not that difficult. I mean, the line weight that I use is just a single line weight, so there's nothing fancy about that. It was just the idea because I couldn't um, I couldn't come up with it, so I just took suggestions from from everybody, uh, and I came up with this thing. See, the lights are kind of blown out on this camera, but maybe I'll color correct it later if I decide to upload it. But yeah, that's it right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this by the end of it. Um, like I said, I'm not really happy with any of it, but uh, I might give it away actually. So yeah, I'm going to just do that. All right. Um, I'm going to ink this thing. I'm a bit behind. I'm like three drawings behind. So let me see. Let's do this. I've learned a lot um, during this last uh, the last few days just doing this thing. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. No, I guess that's it. I'd have to physically go into the settings. Where are you? Settings. Mm, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Advanced settings. Hope oh, this doesn't mess up my uh, recording. Web webcam control. There you go. Oh, it's somewhere. Sorry about this. Here comes my son. Hey, buddy. Oh, my gosh, you scared me. Bye. I think this is as good as it's going to get. Yeah. 
can't say that. Actually, think that, about. That, was, that was a bit better. <clears throat> think about. What? Think about. What does that even mean? That was a bit. That was a bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save it. Is it sharp though? That's the that's the thing. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna start doing this or else I'm gonna fill it around for filling around with this one forever. Hey buddy, why don't you go upstairs? I'm gonna do three half circle. Okay. Go upstairs. I'll see you later. I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's start inking this thing. What was I saying before? Um. I learned quite a bit already through this experience. I know. Um, I use lines quite a lot. I mean, I um, that's how I draw. Mm -hmm. Everything is um, because I have a comic book background, right? So every detail is drawn. Um, but what I learned was to kind of use shapes more. And this is a bad example because um, it's all lines right now. But what do I mean by shapes? So, for instance, instead of um, what am I doing here? Instead of drawing, say, a line like that, um, you you could just draw the shadow underneath it, right? Without drawing that actual line. That's a combination of both, but that's what I mean by um, using using shapes more, uh, blocking out hard shapes. And I know that using a technical pencil or a technical pen like this isn't the best way to do it. I should probably be using a quill or a brush or something like that. Um, if I want it to really be loose, but um, I just don't have any with me. I have to run out to the art store and get some. I do want to experiment with them just to become looser. Like that, see this bit of detail in here, how I'm blacking um, it out? That could just be one stroke of a brush, and it would be a much more um, interesting shape, I believe, if it was done with a brush. So I'll, I'll do stuff like this. I won't, this is what I've learned. I'll, I'll just go in and block out shapes and I won't draw the line um, in. I'll just leave it at that. I mean, I'll go in there and I'll start detailing a bit later on, like things like that. Well, whereas before I just used to, um, I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up now. I used to just go in and draw like every line, like, like this would be a wrinkle. and But now I'll use, um, shapes more more clever cleverly is that a word i don't even know it's early in the morning i'm in between renderings so i thought i would do this actually you know what i wanted to do i wanted to use a bigger brush for this not a br brush but like um, a bigger pen i have a super thick <clears throat> yeah. it's, it's like a chisel looks like that I actually wanted to use that and see what kind of lines I can get see that's what I mean like just with that alone I'm getting much more interesting shapes in there and I'm, I may feel inclined to just leave it It's the problem with having um, a comic book background. It's hard to revert back into um, kind of kind of a, a painterly mentality with this stuff. And a lot of concept artists now, they're painters first before they are um, anything else, so they have an easier time grasping that. Um, for me, not so much. I have to relearn all that, or not relearn. I have to learn it because I never really learned it in art school. Because <clears throat> my mind was so set on doing comic book art that I was kind of, um, I closed myself off to uh, learning shadows and shapes and just blocking things out. So even with this, like, um, thick pen here.
It's giving me some very interesting ones. And I could probably do this entire drawing with this pen alone. And it's going by relatively quickly. But um thing with me is I do love detail as well. And I do want to keep some of that line quality in there that I, I like to do so much. Um, but I also like this stuff. I'd like to, at the end of the day, have my work reflect all aspects of, um, of what I've learned. But that goes without saying, right? I'm sure you all feel the same way. See, this is what I mean. I would go in there and I would just... I wouldn't do this before. I wouldn't go in and just black out shapes. And a lot of the times, like, artists would feel... Uh, a lot of artists feel that that's that's fine right there like you don't need much more detail than that and that would be done just leave it it's perfect right but not me and i've also learned to start with um a thicker pen and then go thinner at the end see this is where my my comic book mind kind of comes back into play these these folds that that are happening could be um accomplished through shades instead of lines so I know what I'm doing wrong I just in my mind I just have to reprogram it and it's it's very difficult it's very difficult and I know maybe some of you guys are going through the same thing um, I have a friend um, a fellow artist who um, He's quite successful right now. I'm not going to name drop or anything like that. I don't think that's cool. But um, he's exactly the same way. Drawing comic books for many years. Um, and his, his style is very dependent on, on just lines as well. And um, right now he works for a, a pretty big company, I'd say. Um, the folks at, over at League of Legends. League of Legends, is that, is that what it is? I don't know. I can't remember what the name is called. But um, he was telling me how he had the same issues. Had to deprogram himself to um, kind of not be so reliant on line work. And half the stuff that I'm doing right now as I'm inking could just be black shapes. But we always gravitate to what's natural for us, right? And for me, it's just these these lines. It's not to say it's terrible. I mean, there's room for it. I mean, I also don't want to draw like everybody else, right? That's important as well, to kind of just be your own, be happy in your own skin. <clears throat> so maybe, maybe it isn't so bad to just draw every little single detail, every single line <clears throat> might not be such a bad thing because it's um, it's me it's, 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 it's original to me and um, also if I feel comfortable doing that I'll be, I'd be more likely to keep doing it as opposed to um, being frustrated with what I can't do if that makes sense or not I should have a um, <clears throat> bottle of water beside me. I wasn't expecting to do this. I, I often do this. Like, I'll be working on a project, doing some CG work, and then I'll have some downtime because of renderings or whatever. And then I'll just, like, throw on the camera and just uh, impromptu kind of um, video. Which is fine, I guess. I find the details getting lost in here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna push it forward by making the I should do less detail, that's what I should do. It's the details that's making it um kind of lost. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dark solid behind there. Is it capitalized? Yeah, 
I don't even know if I should be using these um, Sakura pens. I mean, they're dra they're drafting pens, right? But people have just started using them for inking. It's designed for precision. I mean, it's not a, a good way if you want to be loose in your artwork. Not the best idea to use them. Let me try to push this back a bit. Um, what am I drawing here? I don't know. It's it's a very strange um, character. It wasn't really well planned out. I just kind of freestyled it. And sometimes those are the best drawings, is when you don't know what the hell you're drawing, and one line just leads to another, and it just creates interesting um, shapes, and it plays off each other, and then by the end of it, you have this very strange drawing. I did enjoy drawing it, though. Or I, I am enjoying I am enjoying it as I'm drawing it or inking it. I think I'm like um, especially monotone today, but that's even possible. I just don't feel upbeat. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, so I don't need to put in all the details. That's what I mean. Like I could have done all that. But I won't. I'm just going to leave it out. The inking part is always the quickest for me. Um, I'm not great at it. But... Um, I sort of already know what I'm going to do, and I think that's why it moves by so quickly. So this submission is for, um, I think the topic is um, squeaking, <laughs> which absolutely doesn't make sense, but um, I can always, you can always make up any story to go with any drawing, really. Like, I don't know. When I was drawing this, I kind of had a thought that um, this was like the mother, the chef. She's like a chef of um, of goblins or whatever like that, and she's delivering them food. Um, and you can, you can hear her. You can tell food is coming by hearing her a lot because she kind of just squeaks as she walks along. The, with the pots and pans hanging from her horns. And I like drawing these kinds of characters because you can just make up shit and nobody's going to call you on it. Like there's, there's tons of detail in here that don't make sense, but it's okay because it's in a fantasy world, right? And as long as it's somewhat believable, it represents cloth or for uh, clothing, then nobody's going to question it. I typically hate drawing fur, but I've gotten much better at it. Um, within this month, doing these on um, October drawings. I'm trying to get caught up now. It's um, three drawings behind it, I say. But um, I'm not really that far behind. I have them drawn already. I just have to ink them. I just have to find time to find time to ink them. I have a very small window throughout the day to get these done. And almost done. I, w I was going to go in with a thinner brush, but I might I might not. I think this is fine. Or a thinner pen, not brush. These aren't brushes.
yeah, if you guys are doing the Inktober thing, let me know too. I mean, like, link me up to your Instagram or whatever. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys are doing. Or join the, um, join the Facebook, uh, on the Facebook page if you haven't already. It's a nice community of people. Um, everybody's relatively supportive except this one jackass who shamed me for um, for drawing anime. He considered it a lesser form of art. Um, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. The, the kid doesn't even know me. And that's what I said. It's, it's like, it's, it's really funny because you don't really even know me. I didn't want to get into it, but um, with him. He seemed kind of, uh, he seemed very young, um, no matter what I say, he wasn't going to have it, so I just, I just kind of let it go, I unfriended him, and that was that. Or not unfriend. he was never a friend, I just, um, I, uh, blocked him, that's it. And those those guys don't deserve your time. That's the thing. If you keep going back and forth with them, you're wasting your time. And I mean, time is very valuable. Just ignore them. That's the best thing to do. I know it's kind of hard because everybody has a bit of uh, pride, and they they want to speak their mind. And, you know, tell these kids to shut up. But um, best thing to do is just walk away. And that's that's probably the hardest thing actually is just to walk away. And it was definitely hard for me to walk away. I wanted to give this guy a piece of my mind, and um, but uh, it wasn't going to go anywhere. His uh, his level of intelligence was, <laughs> you know, wasn't quite there yet. I could I could tell he's a very young person. And that's it. I should just stop there. So. Camera's really blown out. The, the lights are very light. I, I know there's a way to adjust it, but that's it. I just did up that guy. And I'm going to probably marker him up. Should I do it right now? What is this? 22 minutes. My render is probably like done a long time ago. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to marker it up. Because that's what I've been doing with the other ones. And the marker process doesn't take me too long. I uh, just hope I don't mess up. Which is uh, quite possible. Uh, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to go with a, probably another dark background like I've been going, like I've been doing before. It'd be nice to have a moon behind me, but I've already done that already with this one here. Uh, I can do it again, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that could be my thing, like circular things behind each character. Hold on. Bear with me. So these are the markers that I've been using. I bought it off a dude for cheap. Like I think it cost me like twenty five dollars. Super cheap. Got it off a truck. Had no idea I was buying something that was like stolen. <laughs> But uh, as it turns out, these markers are very expensive. This was before I started doing uh, Copic marker uh, renderings. I was just looking for them because I saw some uh, some artists use these uh, these markers, and they were doing amazing work with it. So I wanted to do it too. So I looked at on um, this Kijiji. I don't know if you guys have Kijiji. I, I'm in Canada, but I looked it up and like uh, Copic markers, and the first one that popped up was hey. You know, this guy was selling a set for $25. And at the time, I thought that was even expensive. But I contacted him, and I just, I went to his, um, he had a tattoo parlor. And I walked in the tattoo parlor um, into the back. Because uh, the guy at the front goes, just go to the back. And I guess towards the um, the back was like a hair salon. And then uh, behind that was uh, the back with a truck. <laughs> so I ended up going there, like to the hair salon. And then they sent me to the back. So I thought I was going to get rolled or something like that for $25, right? But um, it was broad daylight out. I wasn't I wasn't all that scared. I mean, like, um, so I, I, I just went back there being uh, naive or whatever. And um, I got to go there. How many do you want? And I'm like, I just want the one. It's like, all right. And I bought it off him for $25. Amazing. So it turns out these are worth a lot more. But that's my story. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a really quick job coloring. Uh, here's uh, here's next um, the next one I'm doing. It's for uh, climbing, I believe. And uh, I really dig the way this where this this is going. I think I'm just gonna use a I'm gonna use a different inking technique for this. It's gonna be a single line, very anime, single liney kind of thing. And this is for uh, falling. And it's um, looks a lot like Ghost in the Shell, doesn't it? It's very heavily it's it's heavily inspired by it. So it's just gonna be falling. It's gonna be a lot of movement, um, similar to the Gans one that I did a while back. Let me see if I can find it. Well, I know I can find it. It's all here, similar to that. But he's not really falling. He's kind of running. All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mentioned I had Instagram. Um, if you guys uh, want to follow me there, please do. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, I'm more active there than I am on on YouTube, actually. A lot more because it's easy. You post family pictures, you know, pictures of your dog, maybe a flower, a field, a selfie, or something like that. However, I've been uh, shamed out of doing selfies from my uh, my friends. Like, don't do any more selfies, dude. Like, yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes you just want to feel beautiful. <laughs> okay, wait, uh, what am I doing? I'm going to color this guy up. So a lot of people also have been wondering, like, how the hell I color my backgrounds. Like, I get this um, fine gradient thing, and they don't believe me. Some people have accused me of using a computer to kind of doctor them up a bit. But um, I don't. I just have... Um, I just have these things. They go from a grade of uh, 10, which is pretty much black, all the way to zero. And I use maybe four of them. I, I wouldn't say all of them, but I would, I'd, I'd go through um, at least four of them. So with this one here, what I'm gonna do, oh, this may be a bit tricky actually. I might not be able to pull it off. I'm gonna go from a dark here to a light here. Let's give that a shot, all right? I'm gonna go with nine. Nine's uh, pretty dark, and I'll work pretty quick. Uh, let's let's get set up, and then I'll go eight, seven, six. Oh shit! We're gonna all go all the way. We're gonna use them all. Yeah, let's just use them all. Looks like. Looks like this. Okay, let's see how this goes. Watch me mess up and I get like um, a really rough gradient and everybody see. Everybody's gonna go, told you so. That guy's a fraud. Says he can do it, but obviously he can't. Plus there's pressure to, you know, recording it now. So this is what I'll do. Even if it's unsuccessful, this this will give you an idea of what I do. And you could, um, for those of you that want to do something like this, give it a shot. Mind you, it ain't cheap either. I mean, if you were to buy every grade of gray, it's gonna run you quite. It's pretty steep. I mean, projects aren't cheap. I need some sleep. I'm rhyming all over the place today. Oh my god. You know what's hard too? It's this darn sketchbook. I have to hold it open like this. And um, these small details, don't worry, don't sweat those right now. Oh shit, I just went right into it. Again. Working relatively quickly so it blends all in. If you notice below there, there's some inconsistency happening already. It's looking a bit rough. What I do is I just do this. I blend it. I blend it all in with the lighter one. Right now I'm on gray number seven. All right. So there was a dude that was hating on me as well. Um, 
completely did not believe that I was doing this with markers. I don't understand why. It ain't that hard, guy. It is not that hard. Like I said, just whatever, don't worry about that. Gotta work quick. What are we on six now? Is that six or nine? Yeah, I think it's this one. From seven to six, I'm seeing a huge jump. In value. But maybe it's because my uh Number six is is wearing out. I'm surprised this is this is held up for the entire um, almost the entire month. I thought the ink would have run out by now, but it's holding up. I mean, as you can see, I've been I've been using quite a bit of it. I'm not um, I'm pretty generous with with how I use my my inks. What? Let's put another one, another one lighter. Four. Yeah, and these ones are drying up because I use them most. I use the lighter colors more than the darker colors, obviously. I think that's that's normal. And I would use the lighter one to blend the color before it. I mean, it's not as smooth. It looks more like watercolor, actually, which is pretty awesome. I, I like it. I, I dig that. But that's how I do it, essentially. And sometimes I'm better. I'm more successful than others. I think right now I'm just uh, under the pressure, so I'm kind of um, I'm less careful with it. So, yeah, that's it. And then I'll go in with the... Um, in between with the details. It's such a weird character. I don't know what possessed me to draw this. Maybe I was possessed. The darker shade. Yeah, there for sure. Maybe I'll do more of these um these videos as opposed to the um the ones I've been doing before with the digital coloring. It just uh, requires less time. And I wish I was streaming this because it'd be a lot easier. That way, I won't have to worry about uploading. This is uh, blown okay. I might have to color correct it actually. It looks a little bit blown out. The the color, not on the drawing, but the uh, the video itself. And I can see it right now as I'm looking at it. It's like auto focusing all over the place. Bit of a mess. I actually want to try inks as well. Not inks, but um, yeah, inks. These these are markers. I wouldn't call these inks, but I want to I want to try like legit real inks. I mean, people who have been using 
using them um, that I've seen. Been doing some crazy, crazy things with them, and uh, I want to try it as well. That's that. <clears throat> Do I want to color this thing? I don't know. Yeah, why not? I've gone this far already. All right. Okay, let's pick up. I'm not gonna get too fancy with the coloring. It's gonna look. I think I'm gonna go with a relatively flat look. Right now, I'm just um, going in there and dropping in my shadows. I, I normally don't do shadows first. I'll, I'll go in with midtones, um, shadow second, and then lights at the end. But since I have this marker out now, I thought I would do it this way. No real strong light source, just um, very basic, just a straight on light. Because it um, requires the least amount of thinking. It's just tricky drawing um, using this sketchbook because I have to prop it open. My, my one hand is cramping up and it's not ideal. If I was to do it over again, I, I probably wouldn't have chosen this, but um, the point was I wanted to fill up this sketchbook. Like I said before, I think in the end I'm just going to end up um, giving it away. Just follow me on Instagram and um comment and I, I guess i don't know how i'd know um just tag it with i i want sketchbook or something i don't know for lack of a better word i don't know how i'm going to do this quite yet but i'm just going to be picking a random uh name and uh i'll be sending it out nobody's going to want this anyway but whatever I'm sure somebody out there will want it. This. I'm supposed to be taking my boy to the zoo today, but um, he has a fever, so I don't. I don't think that's happening anymore. All right. 
we are just about done. Like I said, coloring just it's it's brainless. There's just a light source is just hitting them straight on. Nothing fancy. And that's it. Lately what I've been doing is because I I bought these um I bought this white gel pen and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've just been going in and detailing everything. Like um it's pretty unnecessary. Sorry, I just have to I notice a few things and I have to go. I have to fix it or else it's gonna bother me. So that's it. So I rambled a lot, rambled on and on a lot about some, you know, just stupid things. Um, half of it I probably don't even uh, agree with myself, but I'm just keeping it real, guys. I'm just saying what's on the top of my mind. All right, that's it. I can go in and mess with this forever, but. Uh, what was I saying before? <laughs> I bought this um, this gel marker, you know the ones that uh, fifteen year old girls like to like to buy and write love note notes and stuff like that in. It's actually called the Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll number eight. Oh, it's actually a Sakura thing. I didn't know. Well, I, it just looks childish to me, so I never figured. But it's amazing. These things are incredible for bringing out highlights. I mean, I already have the highlights in there. Um, it's it's from the 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 paper behind there, but. What you can also do is you can go in and add like magical details. Like just what I like to do is I just go in and I add. Fuck, no, it doesn't work. I need to buy another one. Just like to go in and add little tiny like details, like dots and stuff like that. Just to kind of add life to it, you know. It doesn't quite make sense. I mean, you could use it in a way where it makes sense if if the, your character has glowing powers coming from the hands and stuff like that. But I just I just do this. It's it's fun it adds a different dimension to it it has an interesting texture it doesn't necessarily make sense um i guess you could say that there's small particles flying fireflies flying in the sky or whatever but what i've also been doing is it's not necessary for this one because this is a clear definitive line but i can um i would go in and i draw a white line around it and it adds an element of um it adds a graphic design kind of an element to it and makes it more interesting. It's I like to think of it as it's similar to um, when you incorporate a font into a design um, or uh, a line of copy. If uh, if your artwork is boring, add some graphic design to it. It'll spruce it up right quick. Um, just give it a shot. Trust me, it works. Um, if I added some kind of a, you know, blah, 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 whatever this character's name is in some crazy font, it would really bring it out. And, um, uh, that's, what was I saying? And I think that's what this does here. I'll go ahead and do it. I'll fuck up my drawing. I don't care. I'll go in and I'll add a, a white key line around it like this. And I think it adds that element of graphic design to it. Of course, it could also be a cast um, light around the a glow around the character, but I find that that's what it does. That's why it looks so pleasing. It's because it's um, it adds an element of design, not art. Uh -oh, voice freaking out for some reason. So yeah, it's been a positive experience overall, I think, as we're winding like um, down. I think there's how many more? Like five more drawings that I have to do. And then Inktober will be done. But um, I've learned a lot. It's been great fun. I've met some great people online. I've connected with them. I've gained more Instagram followers, um, which is awesome. That's always great. So overall, I'm not... I'm I'm very happy that I did it. I should say um, it's been a valuable experience. Um, 
it teaches discipline as well. Like I really respect people who can do a drawing a day. It uh, shows a, a level of dedication. Um, and if you can do this, you can you can pretty much do anything. I'd say if you have the discipline to to stick around and finish it till the end. Um, Cause I do CG work. I do um, and it's all about discipline and getting your work done. And I find that a lot of the times designers have issues, or artists have issues with um with getting their stuff done. It's it's I can't stress enough how important it is to get stuff done on a timely basis. For what I do anyway, and it's very it's very important. Like efficiency and getting things done quick is super important in what I do, but. Maybe not so much in concept art. I hear they give you a lot of time to do something. And um, I hear when you're in that line of work, they stress um, more on, on the quality um, of your work, which makes sense. For what I do, it's it's efficiency. And I believe in comic book comic book work as well for, uh, for sequential pages. Efficiency is um, probably just as valuable as the quality of your work. So get your stuff done, and that's it. We inked, and then we markered up that pretty beast right there. So um, in less than an hour, which is pretty good, I think. And I think I need to get back to work now because somebody's trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> They're like, uh, when is this going to get done? And I'm like, yeah, it's, uh, it'll come in about half an hour. Um, that was about 40 minutes ago. But um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to, uh, you know, like and, and follow. If you like this, I'm going to be doing more of these. I really enjoy doing it. Um, maybe my next one will be here, and I'll do that later on tonight or something like that. Okay, ciao, guys, and uh, take care. Bye.